Summer. 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 Yeah! No! No! Hello, my name is Bjorn Medapalo. And I'm Sarah Simmons. And welcome to the last day we broadcast this school year. Today, we have something special to- Wait. What? We don't actually have it. What, what do you mean, we don't have it, Gagan? Uh, well to start off this broadcast, we have weather with Marshall and Jackie. Hi, my name is, um, Marshall, and since no one else is available, I'll be giving you the, the, the weather. Okay, Marshall. You got this. Monday will be mostly sunny with a 20% chance of rain, and Tuesday will be mostly sunny again with only a 10% chance. Thursday, uh, I, I mean m Monday, Wednesday, I, I mean w w Wednesday, will be m m mostly sunny with a 10% chance of rain. Uh, <laughs> Thursday will be sunny and throughout the entire Day. Fr Friday will be sunny again, like the the the, 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 the entire week. <laughs> this has been the, the weather with M M Marshall. Back to you, G -G Gagan A and Sarah. <laughs> what do you mean you lost it? I don't know, I mean, I just... Didn't you have it on, like, a USB? No, it was on an SD card. <laughs> of course it was. Well, where did you have it last? Mr. Poole in Mr. Daly's room. Why? Why would you even... Uh, guys, uh, it, it's filming. Oh. <laughs> well, um, next we have a recap of this year's sports. Hosted by PK, Nathan, and Danny. Hello, I'm PK. And I'm Danny. Welcome to CDS Sports. Let's see what's happening. You ready? Now since this is going to be the last sports segment of the year, let's look back at the 2014-2015 CDS Athletic Highlights. Truly inspirational. So what are the top three moments that happened this past season in football? Well, uh, winning the foundation game, that was definitely one of them. Um, I don't know, just kind of being with the team and working together and working hard for uh, the wins. I guess that was fun, I know the team bonding and then, uh, definitely messing with the team. Football, I think the top three moments for me were uh, that first play in our first game of the season, I threw a touchdown pass on my first ever varsity snap, so that was great. And the second one for me probably became a win. Despite our loss, I still think I performed pretty good with the help of my receivers and the line. He knows the code, it's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his clicks stays um, up. Fall season was a real uh, growing experience, a lot of new players out there, but I think overall it was a real, it was a great experience for everybody. It was a real great experience for Spring season was really, was really good actually, we got a lot of new players, a lot of new talent on the field, and it's going to be a great season come upcoming fall. Um, how do you think the... 
Uh, spring ball has been uh, very good. We developed a lot of uh, players, worked on a lot of uh, techniques, tackling and running and catching. So uh, for the new kids, we did an excellent job for the uh, two weeks, three weeks that we had practice. Hey, AV League. So I just checked Mr. Poland's room. Yeah. And nothing. But I did find a bunch of clips of random students. Oh, that must be the What's Your Answer segment. New PK and Calais? Yeah. Let's show it. Hello and welcome to What's Your Answer. I'm Calais. And I'm PK. Let's ask some questions. If a manatee is a sea cow, then what is a cow? Is it a land manatee? Yes. Pepsi or Coke? I don't like soda, but Coke. Batman or Superman? Superman. Do you prefer Android or iPhone? Neither. Because Superman has laser eyes, can fly, has super strength. Can vegetarians eat animal crackers? No. If you were in a movie, what movie would you be in? Star Trek! 101 Dalmatians. Star Wars, because I like Chewbacca. Yes or no? Yes. So how often do you wear purple? Frequently. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars, heck yeah. Star Wars, definitely. Are you a big fan of Star Wars? No. Why not Star Trek? Uh, it's old. It's for nerds. You heard it here, folks. Let's take it back to the anchors. Gagan, are cats afraid of heights? I don't know. What y'all looking at me for? Wait. Welcome to the second episode of Dilly Dallying with Mr. Daly. At the beginning of the year, we asked you some to ask questions. Ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. Twice, I think. On, on Twitter <laughs> for, for this guy. And uh, we're going to answer them. And there's. Yeah. At Your Mom 8 asked, why? Oh, the answer to why um, is obvious, it seems to me. Uh, why not? At Lomhow1234 asked, how many books have you written? Five. Five? Five. Five. <laughs> Full novels. Not including short stories and poetry. What is your favorite band slash musician? To understand the, the musical sensibility that I have, you have to understand that I came originally from a rock and roll tradition. Uh, the uh, Rolling Stones, uh, The Who, rock solid rock and roll. But then the Beatles came along and they made pop music. And they got really expensive, it was really good, they made tons of money, everybody imitated them, and no one could play as well as they could. So you end up with like the Bee Gees being rockers. And then came Sid Vicious and Johnny Rotten, and they changed everything and put the passion back in rock and roll where it belonged. Are you a member of the Illuminati? Uh, probably not. Do you believe plants have feelings too? Of course they do. It's my favorite part of being a vegetarian. There's nothing quite like steaming broccoli or Brussels sprouts and knowing the agony that they writhe in at the bottom 
of my steamer. I can feel my asparagus giving up its very shape and falling apart into shreds because of how I'm cooking it. And somehow it just is so satisfying to do that to vegetables. <laughs> Who do you think is the most attractive member of One Direction? The most attractive member? Yes. This would be a real easy question to answer if I had the slightest idea who One Direction uh, was. Are you a hipster? Um, I'd have to say, actually, rather than being a hipster, I'm more sort of a, a belly kind of guy. If you were to change your name, what would you change it to? Oh, I'd like some Old Testament number that you can really kind of get your mouth around, like Ezekiel Hebediah. Uh, that's what I'd like to be, Ezekiel Hebediah. Um, just because it's such a great name. And I've never known a Zeke who wasn't a cool person. If you were able to morph into an animal, like some kind of animal slash English teacher transformer, what would you transform into? <laughs> be a honey badger. Because Stitch is a honey badger. And I would want to be just like Stitch. Right, Mr. Bubbles, uh, the aliens are attacking my house. Oh, no problem, my dog has the chainsaw. That's the kind of animal I want to be. Are you all about that bass? Oh, I am so about that bass. Because I'll tell you why. You gotta have a bass. If you don't have a bass, you can't have a pinnacle. If you don't have a bass and a pinnacle, pff, there go the pyramids. Okay, so I mean, I'm really, uh, the bass. I'm very basic on basses. Do you have any words of wisdom for our last broadcast of the year? Um, what I would really, I think, most like to uh, suggest to students that they should do to uh, completely improve the quality of their existence uh, from now until the very end, um, floss. Take care of your teeth. There's 32 packets of potential agony in there just waiting to go off. So you got to take care of your teeth. It's really important. Design flaw. Kind of like knees and live birth that way. But those are other issues. It wasn't in Daly's room either. Can you can you call Riley and let him know that we won't be able to show it? Sure. Uh, Sarah. Yeah. I think I found it. My name is Spencer Peak. I'm 17 years old, and I'm lucky to be alive. No matter how other people assess your work, it's yours. I am Jake. I am not an A plus or an A minus.
shouldn't say to your principal. No, I actually don't want to take off my non uniform sweatshirt. Class of 2015. Yes, all the way through. That means you can spend another 61,851,600 seconds here. It's been my pleasure to work with you. Oh. <laughs> yes, you can go around and you've already done it. Thank you. Well, that concludes this year's AV broadcast. Yeah. Is it gone? Yeah. I just want you to know it's been a really good year and I'm, I'm gonna really miss you over the summer and I can't, I can't believe it's. Sarah? Yeah? The year isn't over yet. Alright, we have exams. Yeah. Yeah. But after that, it's summer. 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 It's our vacation.